Today on the channel, the white whale has been found! He-Man, Masters of the Universe Origins, Castle Grayskull! Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another He-Man Masters of the Universe Origins unboxing and review. And today, we've got the granddaddy of them all. We've got Castle Grayskull. But remember, for all your He-Man needs and a whole lot more, hit up Big Bad Toy Store. Link in the description below. And Castle Grayskull, as you guys have been following along on my channel, it's been the White Whale. I have not been able to find this. I said, hey, guess what? I am not going to pre-order this at Walmart. I just didn't trust the pre-order system. And I guess I was half right and half incorrect. I had a buddy that actually scored one of these off of the pre-order. But I know of other people out there that got their pre-orders canceled. So I don't know where I would have fell in there. But I was anxious to get this as I saw people were getting it. And you guys know how that goes. Oh, I want it now. I want it now. I've been on the hunt. I've seen the shelf tag in the Lego sets for weeks. I've been traveling to Minnesota. I've been in Missouri. I've been in Iowa. I've been in Kansas. No chance of finding this anywhere. It's been empty every single store. And then like clockwork, this weekend uh, in my home area, uh, the whole area seemed to have gotten one to two of these shipped to every single Walmart. So you get about 12, 13 Walmarts that all seemingly got this on the same day in my area. So a lot of happy friends in my neighborhood, that's for sure. Uh, so I'm very happy to have this done. Uh, Big Bad Toy Store will have this. It says August, so if you need one, go there. Big Bad Toy Store, you can pre-order. Hopefully it'll get pushed up from that August. If not, be checking your Walmarts, as these are a Walmart exclusive out there. Uh, but all that being said, you guys know how excited I was to find this. I had quite the good time with this uh, Castle Grayskull. Uh, as you might be able to see. All right, we're all ready to go in the front seat. Everybody ready to go? Yep. Yeah. Yep, you guys in the back. Gray Skull in the front. Dad? Dad? What? Jeez, my gray skull. Mine. And this is my gray skull. Yeah. Yeah. I 
I wouldn't let this Castle Grayskull out of my sights. There's no way after this hard hitting, hard times, hard heartbreak hunt on this Castle Grayskull, I said I have to have this by me at all times. It will never leave my side, at least uh, until this video. And we're here. The time is now. So we're going to do it like we normally do it, kind of. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. Then I'm going to unbox it off camera. Maybe I'll do one of those uh, time lapses because this will probably take a little bit. We're not just going to sit here for a half hour as I put this together. But maybe I'll throw a time lapse in there real quick. Uh, but we'll unbox it. We'll put it together. I'll talk about it. I'll share some memories of Castle Grayskull Old. We'll compare some figures with it and we'll see where the video goes from there. But first, let's take a look at the packaging on Castle Grayskull and look at this big boy. That's why it was in the Lego aisle. There was apparently room on the shelving on that bottom shelf for the Lego aisle. They couldn't get this to fit anywhere in the traditional toy aisle uh, based on the modulars and everything else they got going at Walmart currently. Uh, no idea if this will be at Target eventually. You would think so, but you never know. But look how cool this packaging art is on this one. Is this not just next level? This just screams... Uh, He-Man has always screamed. Masters of the Universe has always screamed just heavy metal to me. Kind of the dark arts. Uh, but how cool is that Gray Skull right there? Uh, just love all the artwork. Love the characters being united there. Does come with an exclusive sorceress figure, as you probably are aware. Big Masters of the Universe logo up there. I absolutely love that. Uh, let's look on the side here. Promoting all the kind of play features, some of the accessories this one comes with. Just absolutely next level. Absolutely love all of it. Everything is cool. It brings me back to my childhood having this. This is one of the pillars of my toy collection as a kid. I know it's not quite the same thing, but boy, is it not close. Uh, I just love it. I love everything about this box. This is a box I'm going to save. A little more artwork on the side here. It looks like you got Fisto down there fighting below. Makes me wonder, will we ever get Snake Mountain? Do we think that might come in the future? It's always a possibility. Got Master Universe logo up there. What's it say? Fortress of Mystery and Power for He-Man and his foes. So there you go. Of course, got the other side of the box. It's a big box. Not super heavy, uh, but you can see it right there. Who do we got in the bottom? Oh, we got Panthor and Battle Cat in a blood feud. Blood feud. Only one will live. So cool. On the bottom, you got warnings. Another cool little graphic here of Castle Grayskull. I love it. I absolutely love it. And then the back is just as cool if the front as the front, if not cooler here. It's a big package. Big package here. Look at that. I just love how the toys are all set up. It just screams awesome. I would love to have this as a full-size poster. Uh, some of you guys that have seen my collector's tour, you've seen my uh, box art of my G.I. Joe aircraft carrier. Uh, it just looks awesome hanging on the wall. This would be a very cool poster up on a wall as well. Just all of our favorites there, promoting the other vehicles, promoting the, all the characters in the line, and promoting, most of all, uh, Castle Grayskull right there. So the packaging, next level. This is a definite A-plus packaging, if you ask me. Doesn't get a whole lot better than this. But we're here to unbox it. We're here to see what's inside, and that's exactly what we're going to do right now. together i put this thing together it was fairly simple not really that complicated uh, it was interesting playing with the parts some parts i remember some parts i really don't i'm guessing they're probably newish parts or newer parts than uh, the old school one i had as a very little kid i'm just happy to get gray skull back in my possession to have this once again in collection you gotta have castle gray skull uh, just some version of it as the centerpiece of your he-man collection i just think that's the way it is it's such an iconic base uh, I'd like to say, hey, the G.I. Joe aircraft carrier is the same way, but Castle Grayskull is a heck of a, probably could be, probably could be, there you go, probably could be the number one most iconic base of any toy line uh, back from the 80s. I struggle to find something more iconic than Castle Grayskull, and almost everybody even knows what it is without even knowing He-Man, so that tells you it's an iconic playset. And I'm very happy to have this. Like I said, $75, $76, just call it $100 with tax. Uh, very much worth it. Very much worth it for the nostalgia factor. But let's go through some of this ancillary stuff, then let's uh, take a deeper look at the old Castle Grayskull. As a lot of you guys do know, this comes with Sorceress. 
Uh, typical female Masters of the Universe Origins figure. She does come with her kind of uh, staff, staff we'll call it. Uh, looking very eagle-esque. She's got her wings. The wings do move out, so you can have them in, you can have them out. So there's something to like here. There's a, It's a great it because it feels like a freebie figure. Uh, I always loved bases and vehicles that came with a figure you couldn't get anywhere else. I always felt like that was a special character, a special figure. And uh, this Sorceress, I'm sure we'll get the more traditional one down the line sometime. Uh, but I'm okay with this all white one for now. Uh, get her into place a little bit here. A lot of reuse, very similar of the Tila and Evil Lim variety, but cool nonetheless to get this as a pack in. So there you go. You got to think those figures are fourteen dollars. So you're getting this for seventy five, seventy six bucks. It's like you got it for like sixty. So it makes this thing even the better value at that point. You do get some accessories, no different than the olden days. I remember getting these very type accessories with the weapons racks. You can store anywhere you want inside Castle Grayskull. I definitely remember this. Uh, the colors are a lot different on this whole thing. There's a little color changes to it, uh, maybe brought into the future a little bit. Uh, I'm not sure if this looks as dark and menacing and scary as the original. It's pretty close, uh, and we'll talk about that a little bit. But I remember these before. This, I could be wrong, but I remember. I don't remember this with my old Castle Grayskull. Maybe I lost it immediately as a kid and I never saw it again. That's why. But I don't remember this weapons rack. So you can use either, both, mix and match. Choose your own adventure, as they say. So you got those there. Uh, you also got this uh, kind of a training thing. It's got a fist and kind of a boar's head. You hit it, and it's a good training thing for the fistos of the world and, and whatnot. But I definitely remember this as a kid as well. I remember accidentally breaking one of these legs off as a kid and just being traumatized. Oh, I can't believe I broke that. Very uh, disappointed. But yeah, a little uh, thing we've seen from the past. And another one, I remember this bridge. The bridge, uh, I remember as a kid, was more whitish colored and definitely not as uh, big and bulky as this one. But this is, hey, you could put this up and Beastman could try to climb into Castle Grayskull and all that kind of fun stuff. So uh, we got this as well. So that's kind of the ancillary stuff uh, that comes along with the Grayskull. But as you can see right here, it's very light. Very light playset, just very plastic. I mean, it is plastic. There's no heavy granite or rock or cinder blocks with this one. Not that anybody probably thought there was. Uh, but very cool. That is Castle Grayskull. You look at that, very Castle Grayskull is. Maybe a little bit kind of too bright of a green for my liking. Maybe it'll grow on me a little bit more. I would have liked a darker black wash to this over the green. Make it look kind of grimy. Uh, I'm sure there's customizers out there that do wonders with painting that could customize this a little bit. Grimy it up and make it look a little more dark and menacing. But it is a kid's toy at the end of the day. Uh, and this could give kids nightmares anyways. This is a little scary, the old uh, gray skull uh, face, we'll call it, on the castle. But I absolutely love it. I still like it. It still works. I like the drawbridge uh, door. Uh, if you guys remember the old gray skull, I believe that was a greenish color. It kind of matched with everything. It really stands out now with the brown and the silver accents on it. So I think that is pretty cool. That's a nice updated feature that we have there. Uh, very cool there. On the sides, this thing all connects together. I was kind of wondering how this locked together. Uh, the old one kind of clipped together. And I know di people did break the clips. This has kind of a hook, hook and fastener system. A little little hook, you just roll around there and you roll around there and then a, a peg hole up top. So it can block together. Uh, great to carry your figures in if you're a little kid as well. That was uh, kind of one thing you used as a kind of a carrying case as well. So I'm sure that uh, still holds true to this day. You look at the back of Castle, Castle Grayskull, uh, it reminds you of the old one as well. Uh, just the brown accents really add to it. I think it really does. Uh, creates, it just takes your eyes somewhere and, uh, compared to all the same colors in the original one. So I do like those improvements. Uh, once again, I just wish it was a little more darker, a little bit more menacing, but I get it once again. This side, you got the hinges on this side, so that's where it hinges as the playset does. Open up, just like we remember. Um, now let's open it up, huh? Let's get this here. Get these hooks off, maybe. There's one, there's two, and we're open. We're open for business, and it just hinges just like the old one. I'm sure you guys all remember the old one. I'm gonna try to do this, uh, look at the camera. Let me turn over here. So there it is on the inside. Once again, not as dark, not as menacing as the last one. It's updated, it's uh, continued on. It's continuing the tradition with a little brighter colors, uh, bringing it into the 2021. But a lot to remember on the inside. Now, stuff I don't remember, and maybe it was there, but I don't remember it at all. I don't remember these flags that hang down from some of the landing bases. We got two right there. I don't remember those. I don't remember a flag like this being in there. Uh, it's got two sides. 
um, on it, so you can kind of say, hey, who's in control of Castle Grayskull? Is it Skeletor? Is it He-Man? You got both sides of the flag, so you can kind of turn it whichever way you want to go. I don't remember that. I don't remember this computer bank system either. Maybe there was something back there, but it definitely wasn't as bright computery like this. It might have been just that kind of off ivory white against there. I vaguely remember that. I could be wrong, uh, but this computer is a nice touch. It really brings kind of futuristic space vibes into an old school castle, for a, a lack of better terms. Same with this little computer bank system over there. I do not remember that at all before. Uh, then you got the chair here. I remember this chair is a classic chair with the trap door. Classic sticker on that trap door. Um, if some of you guys remember that trap door sticker back in the day. Very cool. Uh, you turn the chair all the way and bam, there you go. A lot of hours of fun having guys fall down that trap door back in the day. And of course, when they do fall, they fall down to that dungeon. And I always thought that dungeon was just the coolest thing ever. If I can get this back in. It's got to be smarter than the user apparently. There we go. Uh, the trapdoor sticker down below, uh, I'll get a shot of that, but very cool. I've seen people make rugs out of that now. I mean, that was just such an iconic thing as a kid. I just remember looking at that sticker and just like, what the heck is down there? I can't believe that sticker. I just thought that was always one of the most memorable pieces of the inside was just that sticker, and I think that'll still hold true today. Um, and you got stickers throughout this thing as well. Uh, just a few places, a sticker on the back of the chair, for example, on the top of the computer, uh, the back here, like I said. So there's definitely some stickers there. You got the gun up top. I definitely remember this big gun up here. I like that these peg in. Same with the flag. They peg in, so you're not going to lose them. They're not going to fall off. That was one issue I had as a kid is that just kind of sat there, arrested there, and it would get knocked off. We do have peg holes up here as well, so uh, your, your heroes or villains can stand up here. You can peg them in for display. I think that is a really nice touch as well. Why not bring, uh, we'll get Merman. I got him here handy. can stick him right up on top there. And there you go. He can stand. You can do whatever. You can pose him. You can do all kinds of stuff. It's pretty cool. Uh, you get here's a little real, real fur Panther Walmart exclusive. You know you can have him lounging around and coming through. Now the gate, the trap door, the door, whatever you want to call it, does open by the old school. Put the sword in there. You turn it, and the sword will open it up. That is another neat feature. Another cool blast from the past feature there. I like that a lot as well. Well, oh, as a knockover Panther. We do have the old school drawbridge. I'm sure a lot of you guys remember that. You pull that up, right like so. Just a bridge, bridge, platform, whatever you want to call it, that goes up and down. You can put your characters onto. Got Skeletor here. It does have a peg hole on there as well, which is pretty good because I used to have guys go down there all the time and it would just, uh, you know, break on you. Whoa. But yeah, you can go down. You guys know how that works. Grab He Man here, put him here for effect. Got the old battle armor He-Man. Oh, my favorite, if you guys are familiar with that on the channel. Peg holes on the chair even as well. I won't take the time to do that, but you can see guys scale in here fairly well. I mean, it's obviously meant for that. It's a very cool feature, very cool play set. I can see even non-Super He-Man fans buying this just for the blast from the past. It would be a cool decoration piece in your office as well. There really is a lot to like about this. I'm so glad I finally found it. I felt like I was never going to find it. It truly was the white whale uh, for me, definitely, for a while. But it's here now. It's here to stay, never to leave my collection again. Let me turn it around and get kind of the whole feature here without me knocking everything. Everything folds up entirely together. There it is, kind of. The full feature, the full unboxed, there it is. Very cool, but I never thought I was gonna find this at one point, it truly was the white whale. I knew I'd find everything, I knew I'd come across it, and I knew worst case scenario I could get it online, but there's no fun in that. Part of the fun of collecting, at least for me, maybe not you, I like the hunt, I like the thrill of the hunt. I like some of those challenging hunts every once in a while, uh, where you gotta really be on your game, you gotta be after it, you gotta be checking, you gotta be knowing the store delivery patterns. That's a fun part of toy collecting for me. I understand why that isn't for a lot of people, uh, but that is fun, and I wish I could hunt even more uh, than I do, but uh, it is what it is. But a solid, solid set, like I said. I, I can't see passing this up if you're a He-Man Origins fan. Even with the new Revelations toy line coming out, might be not the best scale yet, but at least temporarily until they make a deluxe one, 
you could have this one fit in. And even for your classic figures, you could use this along with your classic figures. So I think this fits a lot of different collector niches out there and even non-collector niches. Like I said, I could see somebody having this on display in their office or something. Just kind of a nod to the past, a quirky thing to have out there. Because like I said, everybody knows Castle Grayskull. Everybody does. My daughters know Castle Grayskull. They've never seen an episode of He-Man in their life. So it's definitely in uh, everybody's subconscious somewhere. And it needs to be bought. You need to pick one of these up. I strongly recommend old He-Man Masters of the Universe Castle Grayskull playset. Why don't I put the Sorceress in there? She deserves to be in there, doesn't she? There we go. Put her up top there. Leading the charge, watching over Castle Grayskull. So there it is. One I had a lot of fun with, as you guys saw in the video. And I had a lot of fun putting this one together. Strongly recommended by me, but what say you? Are you picking this up? Are you passing? Let me know in the comments. I know some of you guys, I've seen uh, Twitter messages, Instagram messages, YouTube messages that you found this already or you're out on the hunt. How's that going for you? Be checking your Walmarts. Like I said, they seem to be hitting pretty hard this weekend uh, into this week, I would have to imagine, especially here in the Midwest. So if you're on the hunt, don't give up quite yet. Uh, give it another check. Give it another chance. Uh, but tell me your thoughts on this. And then uh, while you're here, don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. You know we're unboxing everything He-Man on here, Marvel Legends, wrestling. We could go on for days. A lot of stuff going on in the channel. So make sure you're subscribed. Hit the old notification bell. Follow me on social media. The underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on Instagram, Sir Paul64 on Twitter. Of course, Pro Wrestling Tees, search Kyle Peterson, uh, support the channel, pick up a t shirt, and uh, yeah, that's about it. So for Castle Grayskull, I got hours of playtime ahead of me. For Castle Grayskull, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon. Okay, you're good.